I wanted to emphasize this point because I, I, I really think that it is still, even though it's not yet now on the uh, uh, top priority on the agenda of the Middle East, it is the most important issue uh, for Israel and this is uh, something that uh, we have to uh, make every possible effort to continue uh, to deal with and I am not certain that I share the uh, opinion of some who think that uh, at this time there is not a chance uh, for an agreement between us and the Palestinians and therefore we have to uh, leave it aside for as long as it will take. The reason is that I firmly believe that, and I'm speaking for the Israeli side, I'm not speaking for the Palestinian side, I think it's important for them, but they may have different ideas. For the state of Israel, for the future of Israel, we need an agreement as soon as we can get it that will be based on the idea, on the, on the concept of two states, a Palestinian state and the state of Israel, and that it will have borders that will be recognized by the international community, by the United Nations, by all the international bodies, they will be clear. Where is the Palestinian state? Where is the state of Israel? And from then we can move on. I heard that uh, one of the requirements uh, which I, I don't think is necessary is that the Palestinians will declare officially as a, a preliminary step towards negotiations that they will recognize Israel as a Jewish state. I don't buy that they will do it if they want to do it. I don't think that this uh, prerequisite is of any significance if we reach an agreement on that basis where we separate from the Palestinians, because if we will separate from the Palestinians and there will be a Palestinian state and there will be a state of Israel, it will be a Jewish state because it will, be, it will consist of 85% Jews and will be a Jewish state. No one will have to recognize it as a Jewish state. No one will have to make a statement that this is a Jewish state. It will by nature be a Jewish state. And the same goes for the Palestinians, and this is very important. One of the main ingredients of any future agreement between us and the Palestinians is the solution of the, what is known as the uh, refugee problem. And uh, it has been hanging over uh, us and them for generations. And uh, many of the Palestinians over the years demanded that the Palestinians will return back to where they lived originally, which is within the state of Israel pre-67. Now obviously if all the descendants of the original residents will be allowed to come back and they will choose to come back, one thing is certain, that there will not be a Jewish state. Therefore, this is not an acceptable solution to anyone. Now, practically, for all of the uh, Palestinians, the idea of a Palestinian state is to have a state where all the Palestinians will live in. And therefore, the natural place of return for the Palestinian state want to come back to live with the Palestinians is where the Palestinian state will be, which is in Gaza and in the West Bank. I must say that uh, one of the most powerful arguments about this was uh, uh, 
argued by uh, the uh, former Secretary of State of the United States, Condi Rice, when we were negotiating with the Palestinians, and she came quite often, and she was visiting with me, she went to see Abu Mazen, she came back. She said to me, I told to Abu Mazen, in 1948 or 49, when the original resolution in the United Nations for the right of return was adopted, no one talked about a Palestinian state. So when there was this dispute, what can we do with the Palestinians that left their homes because of the war with Israel, the inevitable direction for a solution was to bring them back to the state of Israel. But now the whole idea of creating a Palestinian state is for the Palestinians to have a place to come to and to live there in order to avoid this otherwise deadly conflict when all of the Palestinians will want to go back to live in the state of Israel. But uh, this is one aspect of the overall solution that uh, we think uh, ought to be negotiated, agreed upon, and implemented. From day one of my uh, prime ministership, I made it clear that this is the primary goal of my government. I thought then, I never changed my mind, that there is nothing more significant, more important, and more crucial for the state of Israel, for the future of the state of Israel, than establishing uh, a Palestinian state within the framework of an agreement between Israel and the Palestinians, which will be based more or less on the 67 borders, with swaps of territories, so that in some centers where there is now a concentration of a Jewish population in the territories, as a result of the fact that for 42 years, right, wrong, good, bad, we are to be blamed, they are to be blamed, doesn't matter, there was not a solution, a reality was created, and now we have to try and find an appropriate solution that will be practical. And it will be almost impossible to move 250,000 Jews from every bit of territory in the West Bank. So the idea was that we will swap territories but maintain the same size territory for the Palestinians as they were supposed to have according to the 67 lines. And on the first meeting I had with, Asa, with Abu Mazen, I'm sorry, I told him, that this is what I am prepared to do. <laughs>